In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do a figure skating bracket. Now, what is a bracket? No, it is not some kind of special device to help keep you on your feet when you skate. What it actually is, is a difficult turn. And what you do in order to do one is basically the opposite of a three turn. In the three turn, you go around a circle and you would turn like this. And when doing a bracket, you would go around the circle the same way, but turn in the opposite direction to the three turn. Now this is easier said than done. They are considered a difficult turn for a reason. So let's look at how you do them. Now, first off with brackets or any turn, you wanna think about circles in order to understand what you're doing. So you have to imagine that you draw a circle on the floor like this, and then when I'm gonna cut the circle in half, like so. So now I've got one semicircle and another semicircle here. Now when I do a right forward inside bracket that is entering on a right forward inside edge, you basically gonna skate up away from the semicircle. When you've done a quarter of a circle, you flip to backwards and you keep coming around until you finish the semicircle. We will be on our forward inside edge coming this way. And when we turn to backwards, back to the circle and we're on a backward outside edge to come out of it because a bracket always goes in on one edge and when you turn it's on the other edge. So it'll go from outside to inside or inside to outside. Simple, right? Well, it isn't really. So let's look at how we do this. First off, we're gonna wanna go in on the right foot and throughout the entire move, we're gonna stay on the right foot. Second point, we have our imaginary line cutting our circle in half and this is the center of the circle I'm going around and my back is going to stay facing this the entire way. At no point should I turn in to face that semicircle back to it the entire time. So how you would do it on the ice would you be start here, you would push and then you would change into this position. So I have my back firmly against this central point and then staying on one foot, I would turn and look the direction I'm going and I would come back around like so. Now when we think about this move, I'm starting here and I wanna make sure that I go that way first and then on the circle. I don't wanna cut the circle by starting that way. If I cut the circle, I'm gonna to struggle to bring it back around again without changing edge and doing a flat. So what I wanna make sure I do is go up this way, bring it round back to the circle, turn, and keep bringing it round. So when you're doing brackets, you have to think of having a position one on the entrance and a position two, which is the exit. And you have to go from the one to the other like this, really quick. The slower you are, the more you'll change edge and get pulled out of the circle and not bring it back around. So for this forward inside bracket, position one will be like this. I have my free leg extended in front like so, back to the center of the circle. My hips are angled like this. Not here, but here. So that means the free hip is leading into the circle and my arms are fully extended and I'm there. My weight will be towards the back of the skate and here. Now position two is this, like that. Free leg close to the skating leg. Knee open as much as I can. Not closed, open, hip open. Balance like so. The leading shoulder pushing open as far as I can. The head look in the direction I'm going and I'm there. Weight is now on the ball of the foot. Let's have a quick talk about how the weight changes during the turn. So what happens is you push and you skate in and going forwards, your weight is more on the back of the blade. Now, if you leave it there and try and turn, you will hit the deck, you'll fall. You'll probably hurt yourself and never want to do a bracket again. But what we do to avoid this is as we're going to turn, it rolls to the ball of the foot and then it allows me to swivel to backwards. Without that change, you will either fall or if you don't fall and you get lucky, you'll just catch your edge and step out of it like so. So the weight change on the rocker of the blade is really important with this one. So here we come to our first exercise to practice this and that is literally standing in position one like this and then just quickly turn in position two. And you see how little I move. Position one, I'm there, position two. So it's a very quick movement like this. And you have to really make sure that you're doing everything you can with this left side from position one to position two, everything you can to pull back here. If you don't do that and you don't pull it back, 
you will not be able to do the bracket on the ice because you'll get stuck there, you'll get pulled to an inside edge, and you will fall off the circle. Remember, we're going in a circle like this, so anything you do to pull yourself outside of the circle will ruin your chances of getting a bracket. So you have to really make sure one, two, and everything is pulling around that corner. So going through this exercise again, position one, I'm feeling my weight pushing a little bit to the back of my shoe, hips aligned as I described before, I'm balanced, and then what I'm gonna do is rock the weight to the ball of the foot, change. Now brackets will be really hard if you don't have a lot of mobility in your spine like this. If you're too stiff and you move like that, you're gonna really struggle because you won't get that check position. So you need good movement here and you need great turnout. There's a video right there. You can watch that. It gives you all the exercises to get the turnout you need to do brackets and many other turns. And if you need help improving your ability to check and rotate like this, there's another video right there that will help you. It's specifically made for three turns, but improving that will also improve all your other turns. Now, another really important thing with brackets is the angle of your body. They can either help you do them or completely ruin your chances of doing them. So if you're going into the bracket and you're broken at your hips like this, so your entrance position, you're there. I'm trying to get around a circle this way, but my hips are back and my body is broken and my weight is thrown out the circle. How as I turn to backwards, can I expect to stay on the circle if my weight isn't in the circle? So what will happen is I'll get pulled out of the circle and I'll go to an inside edge instead of the outside edge and I've no longer done a bracket. What I need to do is stay here. Imagining that I'm slightly leaning into the circle like this so that as I turn, I have my weight helping me do everything. It's the same that if you're trying to do an outside edge or an inside edge on a circle, if you leave your weight out like this, it's really hard to get around, but if you put your weight over it like this, you'll whip around no problem whatsoever. So the same thing for this bracket. If I'm there, no chance I've thrown myself out of the circle. If I'm here, suddenly it's much easier. So let's look at a way we can practice this lean right from our home. Now here I've set up my amazing skating door harness to help me practice the lean that I'd have on my bracket. So as I elegantly climb into it, look, I have some great lean, I'm supported by it. So what I would do if I was doing a bracket was I would skate into it like so. I'm gonna put my arm down because I'm too close to the wall, I'm too tall, but I'm here and I can actually get a bit of lean on it as I would on the ice and then I can turn and practice it while I'm supported by the harness. So try it again, position one, two. As an added bonus, if you have a spinner at your home, you can add a layer of difficulty to practice in this difficult turn by doing it on the spinner. So as you can see here, we can learn a lot from home. We now know what a bracket is and some exercises to help practice it so that when we get back into the ice rink, we don't have to stand around getting cold trying to figure this out. We know exactly what we want to do and we know exactly how we should be doing it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you wanna see more videos like this explaining different turns, let me know. And if you want more help with your skating, even more tutorial videos, check out our Patreon page. You can get the help you need to take your skating to the next level.